Hey guys, how's it going? It's Fess here, and uh, not not in my normal FTB base. I am actually at a new place where I want to uh, set up, and it's it's going to be on the top of that giant tree, and I think it's going to turn out pretty cool. So uh, I've been harvesting a whole bunch of wood, and uh, I'm going to light her up there, show you guys the top. I haven't even been up there, um, and then we are. Then I'm going to speed up the build process, show show you guys what I come up with, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, quick little uh, explanation, I'm going to be gone for a week up in Alaska, so I'll be making even less videos than I already do. I know that's a, that's a shocker, because it's really hard to do. So, uh, just be expecting that, no more videos, well, even less videos than normal for a while, so... Um, let's get up this. We're just gonna. Oh, dang it. Um, how's this gonna work? Is that. Yeah, okay, that does it. Alright. So, we're just gonna try and make our way up here through. Let's just do this the first time. Not very tall, but definitely, definitely cool. So we, I'm probably gonna like build a separate thing on each one. Have like a farm over there, 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 over there, there, and then I'm gonna have my main base in the middle. So hopefully this will turn out to be pretty awesome. And I'm of course gonna try and stick with the natural, like, esque of. Uh, of using a tree. So, tree house pretty much made it only of wood along with some other stuff, but I think this is going to do it. So, I'm going to set up my main base and then maybe I'll set up a bee area. Uh, I've actually done a lot of trading with that bee guy over there and then uh, gotten me some proven frames. I uh, got myself a common queen, which is really nice. Um, and then I even, I'm almost done, uh, hold on, where's my Thalmanomicon? Hold on one second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. I, uh, had to go grab the phone. Oh, cool. This is, uh, this leaf right here looks different, not because it's in a different biome or anything, but because of the forestry tree breeding. It's, uh, a crossbreed between a birch and, uh, this giant oak. Uh, and you can crossbreed many different kinds. I might get into that later. I think that'd be it would be pretty cool with the whole thing I'm doing. So uh, now that we checked out the top, I am uh, just gonna get a rough layout plan of what I want to do. As I am in a birch forest, so I'm going to have a lot more uh, birch planks than I will oak planks, which I'm okay with. I really like the look of birch. I think it'll fit in nicely, but uh, I also really like oak, so. Um, I guess we can just get started, like, around here. Just, I'm just going to do a little bit of a basic fill in here. It's not, it's not going to look really nice for, for a good while, but. but the one really nice thing is, even if I wasn't on Peaceful, I would still get a, a good margin. Uh, I mean, uh. Mob, a mob protection system, not a margin. Look at this, a built-in stairway. For, to some extent, but pretty cool stuff. Then you can just climb up here. And voila. Um, hmm. Let's get one more oak right here. Alright, and then of course I'm going to have to move all my stuff up, but that'll be done off camera. So we got ourselves a nice view, nice place to do, I can count like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 separate platforms. I'm pretty sure I'm missing some too, but 13 separate platforms we're, we're going to be able to use, actually uh, 14 if you count like a bunch more if you count these little landings. Oh, whoo, whoo, that was close. But, uh, so we're going to have a lot of room to do activities. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Alright, uh, hmm. I'm, I'm just trying to gauge out what I want to build up here, because I found the tree, I saw it, and I loved it, and I I didn't want to go up there. Like, I wanted to see it at the same time as you guys did, so. Alright, well, I'm uh, going to take a look at it, and then I'm going to do a speed up of the uh, of the building process, just for the base, and then I'll move all of the materials off camera and everything up here. And then hopefully we can get uh, some Thomcraft stuff, like the Thomcraft room started and all that good stuff. But I really want to get these bees going. Because uh, now that with the proven frames and now that I have a commons, uh, I, I can start working my way up to, uh, to the Imperials and get a lot of stuff going for forestry. Alright, uh, be right back.
Okay, so uh, there we go. Got at the very least that set up. I still haven't transferred my bees up here yet, but I think uh, I'm going to have them go up here, or maybe up there. That'd be pretty cool too. So I might have my bees just go right up here. They have to have direct contact with the sun, which isn't too bad. Or glass over them. Uh, so I might put them over here. I think that this would be a fun spot. Um, the way I'm thinking about doing it is right here. Just put a piece of dirt and then put four apiaries around here. The only problem with building in the tree, I just realized this, is there's not going to be much space for like automation and stuff. But I think that's where Thomcraft is going to help because it's going to allow me to um, to use golems instead of uh, just normal like uh, th means through industrial craft or thermal expansion and stuff like that. So uh, let's just get this, get these all picked up. Oh, of course. Uh, the first thing, the first thing I'm gonna make is a rainmaker. <laughs> or not a rainmaker, like yeah, a rainmaker. And then I'm gonna cancel out that rain so hard. So, I rain is the most annoying thing ever. I really hope I get some flyer bees. All right. Uh, yeah, let's turn off the particles. All right, now we don't have to put up with the sound of rain. All right, put that there. Get me my flower, and then uh, my two apiaries. I might go trade to get a few more. Um, these guys right now will not. Uh, let's uh, throw one of those in there. And uh, that's a queen. Uh, let's try and get it to a common. All right. Um, put all of our frames back in because these are very important to how fast. The, like to how much pro byproduct I get off of them. Oh, that's what I need to go get. Oh, I need to go get my um my bed. I have not set my spawn yet, which I really need to get to do. Um, uh, how? I, here, when I'm on my way over, I'm gonna trade for some more apiaries from our friend the villager. I just no, I don't think I have a, quite a stack of uh, what you call it, wood, oak wood. No, I don't. I don't even have enough for one more. I want to get two more so I can finish off my little ring of four, and then uh, hopefully we can uh, get started. Really. Um, oh, we got some more mutations over there. Uh, actually, hold on. I'm gonna take care of this all off camera, and then when I come back, I'm gonna show you my. Uh, I'm gonna show you what those uh, discolored leaves mean. If you guys watch uh, like B W O, you'll know, uh, and o other various Minecrackers have done it. But I'm not sure who else, like, if you guys have seen it or not, it is one of the more obscure parts of forestry. Like, it's very new, very recently added. So I'm going to show you guys what it is. It's essentially bees, except with trees. And uh, a lot less hassle involved, but still, still quite a bit of fun. All right, so now I, I should have enough for two more apiaries, which is going to be nice. Oh, yeah, and this, this area, so many caves. I, an unbelievable amount of caves. It's crazy. See, a cave, a cave, and uh, there's one here. Let's see if we can still see it. Uh, if you look at the very bottom there, like you see the green, like where all the four waypoints are at the very bottom, like those arrows, that thing, that is a massive cave system. I'm pretty sure it leads, like, there's an abandoned mine shaft in it. You name it, it's got it. Except a stronghold. I don't know about strongholds, so. Um... Wait, am I? I'm going in the wrong direction. But uh, there's uh, out that way. You can see the little waypoint name, a dual spawner. That's actually a tri spawner. Within about 80 blocks, there's three um, zombie spawners. So if I ever do turn on peaceful, oh look, we got another one. Uh, if I ever do turn on peaceful, oh, uh, we also have a volcano, a big one at the from the looks of it. Okay, sorry about that, guys. But uh, so I went and took care of everything. Got my bed. Got the few more apiaries up there. I don't think you can see them on the mini map, but they're up there. So, uh, and then what I wanted to show you now is what I was talking about with the tree breeding stuff. So you're gonna need a bronze ingot, which is uh, really easy to make uh, recipe. Just tin and three copper, and then you're gonna need uh, two sticks like this, and then you get a grafter. 
What these grafters do, uh, you don't need to make two of them, you only need one. But they don't last very long. What they do is when you uh, when you destroy a uh, when you destroy a leaf that has been mutated, it will guaranteed drop a sapling. So you don't have to cut down the tree or break it and hope to get one. You will always get one. And I got a silver lime sapling, and I think I have two of them. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant this in between two oak trees. So now when it grows, it's going to grow up next to these two. Uh, here, let's actually move this to like right here. I think we'll be good. Uh, is that too close? Let's put it over here actually. If we can get in between, the, the more trees we can get in between the better. So I think that'll be good. And then it uh, looks like we have another one over here. And then event, and uh, I'm assuming silver lime saplings. Uh, oh, what do we get from this one? An apple oak. So this this will pretty much have a much higher chance of dropping apples I assume. Now uh, let's put this one here. So that way hopefully these two will breed since they are two very unique uh, species. And then this is the this is what tree breeding is. You just kind of keep on mixing and matching. Uh, nope. But you kind of just have to look around for unique ones. Uh, you can also find unique uh, like saplings and stuff. That's the cherry saplings you guys find in dungeons or that we find in dungeons. I don't think I've found one yet even though I have found quite the multitude of... Uh, of dungeons. I might have, but I might have left them in there without thinking about it. And, uh, hold on. I want to see if these work on, uh, normal saplings. No, they don't. So, they do actually have to be mutated. And, uh, normally, I don't think putting two of the same kind of tree mutates it. I think the reason why, ow, uh, it mutated naturally was because, um, move on. Uh, okay, that's just loud on my end. All right. But I think the reason why it mutated naturally was because this was by oak leaves. So it is a very small chance that it will happen, but hopefully it will. And then uh, we can go check on that later. Um, I'm not sure how long this video has been going because the speed up it's going to kind of throw me off. So uh, here, let me show you my bee setup really fast once again. I might make a little shelter for that on camera. Um, right here. Nice little one. It's nice and it's very compact, which is what I really like. Oh, this one died. Now we have meadows and rocky. Ooh. And oh wait, no, my common one's right there. Okay, I thought I got rid of. I thought I lost my common one. If you, and if you notice, I put a forest queen and a marbled queen, which seems to work very fast. Wow. And then this should this should produce a lot of honey, especially once I get uh, quite a few more going there. Ooh, we're we're gonna be in business. Um, so, let's grab ourselves, um, some birch, some oak, and, uh, some glass. I think that should be pretty good. Um, hmm. Nothing too fancy. I'm just gonna kind of make an outlining shape of this right here. Um. Do I want this? Nah. Let, let's, let's make this out of, uh, actually, no. I, I do like the birch look of it. And I'm not sure how we're going to get in. Actually, here, hold on. We're going to move this a little, down one layer. Just just make it look a little bit nicer. Blends in better. And I think we'll have an easier uh, entry point, too. So instead of doing it right there, we're going to do it right here. I might cover this in leaves. I'm not sure. I just want to give it a nice, a nice barrier. And for each of the the different labs, I'm going to do all like ten of them. At the very least, I'm going to have a unique enclosure for each one. So if I could make blocks out of like beeswax and stuff, I probably would. Oh wow, did that come out to be exactly 64? Oh shoot, that's not tall enough, is it? Well, I, I just can't get to the middle. Okay, that's not bad. Actually, no, I don't like that. It needs to be one taller. That was just a waste of glass. Alright, so I'm going to go grab a few more. And that's what I love about peaceful mode. I can just do that, no problem.
Do -do -do. I'm gonna need to get a tree farm going pretty fast, just to keep up with my needs with this build. And uh, so I've actually, no since I've discovered this one, I have noticed a lot more uh, of these great oak trees. Uh, we're also going to look at this from the bottom, see how this looks. And then this uh, glass, I'm pretty sure, does not cut off direct line of sight with the sun, since it is glass. And that's what bees need. Uh, so it's this one right here. That's, uh, that's going to be our entry point, I think. And then just cut this through. And there we go. We have our entry point. Nice and easy to access. Just right there. Uh, oh, cool. We got some more common princesses. Uh, we got a common princess, which is which is really nice. Um, and then we got more. And then this common princess seems to be making honey very quickly, which is a really good sign for us. It means that we're going to get even more honey than normal. Alright, so we're going to go to bed. Set my spawn. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. There we go. Ten waypoints. Jeez. I need to lay off of them. All right, and uh, let's let's make sure this doesn't uh, cut off direct uh, line of sight from the sun. Oh, and uh, also, there's going to be a new Zycraft. Uh, like, yep, okay, it doesn't. A new Zycraft build coming out. And uh, if you guys have been watching my videos at all and listening, you know I will be very excited for this, just because of everything new that's coming out, like multi tanks, which are essentially just very cheap uh, railcraft tanks. <sighs> that do, that does the same exact thing and more even. Um, does that look okay? Yeah, I'm not sure either, Mr. Pig. I'm not sure. I, I don't think it looks too bad. I might switch it over to leaves later. Yeah, I th I think I am going to switch it over to leaves. Just just give it a new feel. Oh, uh, let's check on our trees. I doubt they've grown, but you never know. Oh, and each of these uh, trees down here have special stats like um. This one might mature faster, it might grow taller, and then there is a tree analyzer, I think it's called. Tree, yeah, a tree analyzer, but yeah, this is it, the tree analyzer. So it's just copper, redstone, oh, that's not bad. I could probably manage that, actually, right now. I'm not going to, though, just because I don't feel like wasting my two diamonds, that's all I have. Um, and then, uh, oh, I haven't showed you the giant mining pit yet. This is just kind of a home tour edition. <laughs> So I'm probably going to switch the bee enclosure over to leaves, even though I don't have it on fancy graphics. The reason why I don't have have it on fancy graphics over there is because there's so many leaves, it actually lags my game a little bit more. And I, and you can pretty much tell it's already laggy. So, um, like while recording, I get like 30 to 40 frames, frames per second. So I don't want to lower any more than that. Alright, uh, so this, <laughs> this is going to be my mining area. As you can see, I, I have stripped just this first area pretty clean here. I, I have missed a few things, but I, I do plan on getting everything in here. And uh, it's going to take a long time, but it's going to be so worth it. Just the sheer amount of materials I'm going to get for uh, from this. I won't probably get too many diamonds, but I, I'm going to be okay with that. Just because everything else I'm, I, everything I do isn't going to require diamonds. Ooh, I've always wondered what does that mean? Uh, and then... This is how I'm going to mark out where I have been. Oh, there's the abandoned mineshaft. Ow. Got some marble, which is pretty cool. Overall, I, I think it's a pretty neat place. Just, like, with all this stuff combined together. So, alright. Uh, I think that this is a good place to end the episode, since I do not know how long it's gone for. Um, and, yeah. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you probably in about a week, considering the fact that I won't be here. I won't be at my house for about a week, so. Actually, does that look okay? I don't think it looks that bad. I might switch the outside glass or something. I don't think it looks that bad. Uh, ooh, ooh, I actually have one idea. You know what? No, I'm, I'm going to do it off camera. Show you guys in the next episode. Alright. So, uh, God, I, I really need to learn how to do this better. I always say my outro, and I always think of something to do. Alright, so anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you guys later.